So the fourth and the final race of this weekend at Zolder got underway with Shane Brereton on pole position, backing the field up, but a standout start for Norbert Keish grabbed the right gear, got full boost, and worked his way from fifth to third in the space of a couple of hundred metres. Then on the way in towards turn one, it was Teo Calve looking for the cutback on Brereton, but finding the front of Norbert Keish's truck. There's a little bit of contact in the background, and that's between Luke Garrett and Rene Rayner. Luke Garrett recovers the better of the two. Rene sat there trudging through the gravel, doing what he can to rejoin as quickly as possible. On the run-up towards the Klein chicane, Quiche massively outbreaks Calve, and then looks for the best cutback he can and manages to do it successfully. Side by side on the run-up towards the Villeneuve chicane go Quiche and Brereton, and Quiche from fifth to first in the space of just a couple of sectors through the Villeneuve chicane the position is secured and Calve looks for the same gap yet more contact between the pair of them a little bit of damage now being carried by Brereton but they do manage to continue on Adam Latchko squeezed his way through the same gap as well and the quicker of the two works past one and then manages to work his way into second place through the Villeneuve chicane the teammates swap around and Latchko sets his sights on Quiche there is the damaged and punctured Rene Reynert pulling into the paddock for retirement. Norbert Kiesch yet further extending his lead gap over Lachko, who has his teammate Teo Calve in tow. And there was Brereton. A wonderful camera angle from the stands with our wonderful supporters here at Zolder this weekend. Really have come in numbers. Shane Brereton doing what he can to fend off Sasha Lenz. Sasha, for Sasha, this is a crucial overtake for the championship. But sadly, that time through, he couldn't quite make it work. Jochen Hahn was in hot pursuit as well, looking to make amends for an earlier incident, but couldn't quite squeeze his way up through the inside. By the end of the race, it was Norbert Keish to cross the line to take the chequered flag first, followed by Adam Latchko in the first of the Bagheera Freightliners, and Teo Calve crossed the line in third place. Shane Brereton pushed him across the line, still with Sasha Lenz behind, and Jochen Hahn followed suit. Chequered flag still being waved and Norbert Keish really really enjoying the power he has underneath his right foot celebrating what has been a rather up and down weekend for himself but a good haul of points for the championship nonetheless two Bagheera Freightliners making up second and third place and Teo Calve has had a standout weekend as well there is a very happy Norbert Keish ready to congratulate with his team and celebrate another win up on the podium, holding the trophies aloft, and down for a interview. And then, yeah, on the on the first chicane, the braking, I could overtake Theo, and I see Shane made a mistake in the chicane, and he was clear, alone in front, but he still he still made a mistake. So I, I I saw that immediately that if I have a good exit from the chicane, then I can I can try and overtake him yeah. as well. And I did have a good exit on the chicane. I went on the right side of him, and uh, down to the wheel of chicane, the right side is good. So I could I could outbreak him and uh, and take the first place. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, like you said, four four winning uh, in this weekend in Goodyear Cup, uh, two podium, two third place. Uh, I think we cannot uh, believe better. Of, uh, honestly, I'm really really happy with the weekend. We made uh, amazing perf uh, amazing performance. So a brilliant weekend from Teo Calve, very happy with his performances. Took to the podium six times throughout, four times for the Goodyear Cup and twice for finishing third overall. Norbert Kiesch took the final podium spot of the weekend. Up to the top step, he went ahead of Adam Lachko and Teo Calve. Shane Brereton from the front row of the grid finished in fourth with Sasha Lenz in fifth. Jochen Hahn still with performance to find, but he is going the right way in sixth. Steffi Halm in seventh and Andre Kersim finished in eighth and then the Spaniard of Antonio Albacete in his MAN finished in ninth place ahead of the Tank Ball 24 racing Scania of Stefan Fars in 10th. Jamie Anderson finished in 11th place a weekend of what ifs for him ahead of Heinrich Clementeca, Alea Kolak and Luis Riquenco in 14th place. So the final podium of the weekend took place and what a brilliant weekend it has been here at Solder for the FIA European Truck Racing Championship.